In this one, again, guys, we obviously know we cannot solve and isolate the y, right? We know we cannot isolate the y. So the main important thing we need to do then is, all right, we need to differentiate then with respect to x, collect all the dy dx's, and then solve for dy dx like we've done before. So if we're taking the derivative of both sides dy dx, we're basically taking we're basically taking the derivative of each one of these terms, right, with respect to x. So just to kind of save some time, 3y squared dy dx plus 2y dy dx minus 5 dy dx minus 2x equals 0. Right? OK. So, and again, typically what we should represent, though, is at least before we do that, I'm talking about like on, a, on an answer paper, it is important for you guys to at least write, hey, I am taking the derivative d over dx here and d over dx there. OK, so I'm, I'm sorry. I actually probably should have at least explained that. Make sure you're just not writing something brand new and going through it. Make sure you're saying, oh, I'm taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. And then we can get to this quantity. All right. Now you guys can see that we um, now what we want to do is collect our dy dx's and then add the 2x to the other side. So I could factor out a dy over dx. And when I do that, I'm left with a 3y squared plus 2y minus 5 equals 2x. And then I can say dy dx is equal to 2x all over 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. Right? But again, what, that's not what the question was. The question was asking us for us to find the slope at the point 1 comma negative 3. So to represent that, we're going to use, we're going to say we want to find the slope, or I'm sorry, we want to find the slope here at the point 1 comma negative 3. So now all we're going to do is insert 1 in for the x's and negative 3 in for the y's. And therefore, we'll have, um, let's see, that's, that's 9 times 3 is 27, time plus minus 6 minus 5. So that's minus 11. So minus 11, so that would be. 2 over 1 eighth. Equals 1 eighth. Does everybody kind of have a basic little understanding of what I did? It's kind of the same thing we've done before. Except now we're just given one, we're given an x and a y coordinate, right? Because there could be multiple points, right? If we just give an x coordinate, which one are you talking about? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So if we're given the x and the y, we just need to plug in them both, OK? Now, let me actually give you guys a question, though. So here's our answer, 1 eighth. There is nothing wrong with factoring out the dy dx's and solving for dy dx, right? That makes like intuitive sense, right? Would you guys agree? So that makes sense. Like we could plug that in. But doesn't it also make sense that we could simply, instead of getting here, we could also just say, now again, this is kind of talking about a little bit of our FRQ. Like we got to be able to tell people what we're doing. We just can't go from here to here. We have to say we are taking the derivative here on both sides, and then we can write this line, OK? And I'm just trying to save a little bit of time. But we've got to make sure we go from here to here. We've got to say, oh, I'm taking the derivative. And now here's what my derivative is. So if we say at 1 comma negative 3, then couldn't we just plug everything in here? You don't have to do it this way. If you understood what I did last time, that's fine. Um, and minus 2 times 1. The reason why I bring this up, guys, is because now we can combine all of our like terms. Like this is 9, so this is 27 dy dx. 
This is, oops, I forgot to write that. This is negative 6 dy dx. This is negative 5 dy dx. And let's actually put this over to the other side. That's 2. Well, guys, can't we like combine like terms? Like think of these as like variable. Like, can't you just combine like terms? This ends up equaling negative, or I'm sorry, positive 16. 16 dy dx equals 2. And then you just divide by 16 on both sides. And you're going to get the exact same answer we had. Okay, so it is possible sometimes, and, but that's only going to be, you're only going to want to work that way is if you have the x and the y. Um, and that's something that's kind of functional for you. Okay, but just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys. Um, something you can do.